Okay, we're ready to get going with Character Creator 3. So the first thing you want to do is launch your program. And it's going to open up to a brand new file in which you're going to get the female default character. And your layout should look something like this. One of these other tabs may be open. So it may look slightly different. So the first thing we want to do before we get going is I want to cover the easiest way to move around, how to navigate and move your character and rotate the view and things like that. So on the keyboard, the Alt key is going to be your friend. So press the Alt key on your keyboard and then the left mouse button and you'll be able to move left to right, up and down. And this is how you move your character in those directions. Now keep the Alt key down and use and press the right mouse key button and this will rotate the character around so you can pivot around and rotate around your character. Finally, use your middle mouse button scroll key the zoom to zoom in or out. And then Alt key left mouse button to reposition. Take a while to get used to. It's kind of reverse from Unreal Engine and Maya and some other programs, so you kind of have to get used to the controls being a little bit opposite of what you're used to. Okay, so the zoom is the scroll wheel on your mouse, the Alt key and the right mouse button to rotate around your character, and the left mouse button with the Alt key to move the character up and down. Now another handy hotkey is the F key on your keyboard. If you press F, it'll just move your character back into the full view. Okay, so let's get this character. So let's move the character with the Alt key and move over here so we have a little more working room. And the first thing we want to do to create a cartoon is we want to change the size of the character. And this is going to be a girl cartoon, so we want her to be a little bit shorter. So if we go back up to the actor, so we're going to scale the body down. Go over here to the search bar, and with the body selected right under actor, type in scale. And you'll see at the top we have character scale A and B. And either one of these will work. I'm not sure what the difference is between the two, but go ahead and pick one. I'm going to use A. And let's scale it down to about half. So let's go minus 50, just to be exact there. And our character is now half the size. The next thing we want to do is we want to go to the head and type in scale. And now the head scale for a cartoon, let's zoom in a little bit, Alt button, left mouse to move it. We want our head to be scaled up pretty big for a cartoon, something like that. Say 100%. Whatever you like, you may like 80%. That might look better for you. 70%. All of this is subjective and it's entirely up to you and your artistic vision or creation. Now what I want, would like to do is I found this picture or this character on the Real Illusion website and this is a really good face to use as something to use as a reference and this is what we're going to kind of go after is we want to have big eyes like this girl has big lips tiny little nose the shape of the face all that is what we want to go for but for right now we want to just go with the big head we want to go with the body smaller and now let's go in there and let's start shaping the body and exaggerate it a little bit, making the waist smaller, the arms skinnier, and things like that. So to do that, what we want to do is go up to the top where it says Morph and click on that button right there where it says Morph. And this is going to, when you hover over different parts of the body, it's going to highlight in yellow. 
So what that allows us to do, let's go ahead and zoom in on the waist. And if we highlight it and then move your mouse to the left, left mouse button, and then move to the left, you can see that we are scaling and changing the shape of the waist and abdomen. Also, you can see in real time how the parameters are changing, the sliders over here. And I still have scale selected, so it's given us the abdomen scale. So you can go down and just very intuitively and interactively, you can go and change the shape of your character. So go ahead and just take a few minutes. I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to make her thighs a little skinnier, her calves a little skinnier. And then remember with the Alt key and the right mouse button, we can rotate around to get a different look. View our character from different angles. And let's go to her arms. Make those a little bit skinnier forearms and this is so powerful and it's so fun because it just it takes the technology and all the you know the difficult things out of the way and it just puts these tools in in the hands of you as the artist so just go ahead and take some time and go through the character and make some adjustments we're going to be doing a lot of work on the head so don't worry about that the neck for example we can make the neck skinnier. We can make the neck go up. Make a longer neck. We have an extreme amount of control and power with these controls. So let's press the F button. And you can see that our character is taking shape. We've got more cartoony look with the skinnier limbs. And a big old head that still looks really funny because it looks like a human head with no exaggeration. So in the next video, we're going to focus in and we're going to start working on the eyes, the nose and the mouth and some of the head shape.